China put its cutting-edge J-35A stealth fighter on show at a biennial air show in the country's southern province of Guangdong on Tuesday. The display shows China's aspiration to assert itself as the preeminent military force in the Asia-Pacific region and a major player in the world's arms trade. Exhibition flights also included jets such as the J-1-10, J-20, and the ZNYU-20 transport and refueling plane drew plane spotters from across the country. In addition to asserting control over Taiwan, the self-governing island democracy that China claims as its own territory, China is also using its navy, air force and other weapon systems to drive off competitors from the Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam and others in the South China Sea. Russia's participation in the air show symbolizes the unity between the two authoritarian regimes over the war in Ukraine. Shortly before Russia's full-on invasion of Ukraine, President Vladimir Putin visited Beijing and the two leaders deepened bilateral ties. China's defense ministry has consistently grown by leaps and bounds, including aircraft carriers, the world's largest naval fleet, a massive missile armory and moves to grow alliances with Central Asia. Southeast Asia and the Western Pacific. Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg labeled the move to hold the COP29 climate talks in Azerbaijan absurd on Monday as she joined a demonstration against the summit being held in Baku. Thunberg joined protesters in neighboring Georgia and said Azerbaijan should not be given legitimacy to host the United Nations annual summit to discuss how to avoid increasing threats from climate change. Georgian civil activist Tamar Jakili said the rally was also held to protest what demonstrators say is rising authoritarianism in the region. Sandwiched between Iran to the south and Russia to the north, Azerbaijan is on the Caspian Sea and was part of the Soviet Union from 1922 to 1991. Nearly all of the country's exports are oil and gas, two of the world's leading sources of planet-warming carbon dioxide emissions. Azerbaijani officials have argued that it is unfair to criticize Baku for producing more fossil fuels when there is a demand for them across Europe as national governments endeavor to keep fuel prices low for citizens. Now, COP29 is being held in Azerbaijan, which is a repressive occupying state, uh, which have committed ethnic cleansing and uh, which are continuously cracking down on Azerbaijani civil society uh, and are now trying to use this COP29 um, as a chance to greenwash their crimes and their human rights abuses. And uh, we cannot stand silent in that and we cannot give them any legitimacy in, in this situation. Uh, which is why we are standing here tonight saying no to greenwashing. Um, and no to the Azerbaijani regime. 
The climate crisis is an existential crisis. Um, 2024 is on track to become the hottest year ever recorded. And last year, global greenhouse gas emissions reached an all-time high. Um, and at, in this moment that the UNFCCC is hosting yet another COP climate meeting in an authoritarian petrol state is beyond absurd. We are protesting uh, the rising authoritarianism in the region as well as specifically authoritarianism in Azerbaijan. Right now the world's biggest climate conference is starting in Baku and uh, Azerbaijan has 300 political prisoners and in Georgia similar kind of authoritarian regime is uh, threatening Georgia's civil society with repressions. So yeah, we are here united against authoritarianism and for social justice.